it says it will automatically refresh and you'll be moved into the queue. So this is at the point where for people maybe doing the Avion sale, this is when you don't touch anything. You just wait. Because obviously you like this, oh. <gasps> okay, that's great. This means I'm getting tickets. <laughs> Honestly, that is so adorable and stressful and shouldn't be so exclusive to certain people online. There are people that don't know how to do that, that have a right to go to events and see shows. Right, and she broken. was a lucky Taylor Swift fan because millions of people across this country have been trying to get tickets the to world. see Taylor Swift yeah. in concert. And here in Vancouver, I mean, this was a bucket list for a lot of people who did everything right. There were lucky people who got the codes. Yeah, I got standby. Your code might come in. Yeah. And so which means no, code. which means no. But why has it become so complicated? Because it's like you know you're going to lose before you've even made the investment of time. Yeah. And I think that the government here in BC is looking at tweaking the I legislation. Hope so. Fun fact for me, and I don't even know if you know this about me, when I started out in media, I was the cruiser girl right. at, at Rock 101 at CFMI, Vancouver's Best Rock, and my job was to hand out tickets, yeah, right? And seeing the look on somebody's face when they want a pair of tickets is like so great. And oh, other yeah. people would like follow my cruiser vehicle around to try and get <laughs> tickets, which I was like, can I give you the tickets? Right. But people were, you know, and then we'd go and we'd cover wristband sales at the Pacific Coliseum where people would line up overnight to try and get to see, you know, and those, those whole back of tickets and for the true fans to stand at that door and just wait patiently for their opportunity to buy two tickets and then attend the event. I think that's a lost art. Somehow well, that must be brought back. I mean, at the end of the things. day, we're in a new era and it should be easy because we're all have a computer. Both, right? But the reality is the province realized there was a problem. And so in 2021, the BC government brought in some new ticket legislation that was supposed to ban bots. It didn't work. It was supposed to ban people from reselling tickets they didn't own. No. And it was called the Ticket Sales Act, and it did not work. Uh, so now people are saying, okay, maybe what needs to happen is the Ticketmaster and the artists have to be honest about how many tickets they're actually releasing because they create this fake frenzy when the reality is <clears throat> a large proportion of tickets to all concerts are being held back for various reasons that average fans don't get access to them. That was like them. The, the woman we showed off the top. She yeah. was an Avion holder. That means she banks on a certain Visa card. Right. Therefore, she gets early access. So how many go into that? And then five seconds later, you go online and those tickets, not hers, but tickets purchased by somebody with an Avion card who has no interest in seeing Taylor Swift is like paying Son their the mortgage kids. for a couple of months on it. And it's like, well, we got to dial that back. There Could has they to be not? a way to police that. Could they not just say if you buy tickets and then for some reason that you can't go to the show, the only recourse is to sell them back to Ticketmaster. But then how do you gift a pair of tickets to your kid? Right. If there's only well, like, there's you can, so you many... buy them online and then give them to the kid. I mean, but why... that's gifting it to somebody, right? So no, I just it... mean the people who are trying to go on and buy 25 tickets and then resell them for a profit. There, if I think you you're had onto to sell something. It back to Ticketmaster, and that was the only way you could do it. Shouldn't be able to buy 25 tickets. Well, there yes. should be tickets at the gate. There should be tickets pre-sold in person, and there should be online tickets available. And can we talk about the Christmas train in Stanley Park, please? 24,000 tickets. We mentioned this last week sold mm -hmm. in 90 minutes. Are you kidding me? My grandmother took us on the Christmas train every year in Stanley Park. My grandmother would not have been able to well, navigate buying online. And a friend of mine actually got to go on the website to try to get through and they would say on this day and she would finally get through to that section no. and then it would say yeah all the tickets are gone pick another day and she would go back and pick another day and, oh no all the tickets are gone and it was just a stupid system that was glitchy and we're talking about these tickets to go on the Christmas train ended up online with people were gouging and scalping and trying to sell these tickets for like three times the value. And that's just not It's right. not okay. There is people a way so to greedy. There some is people, a way to figure people. this out. People, some people are greedy. And but I can take this to Kitts Pool. I talk about this yeah. all the time. I used to swim at Kitts Pool every day, every day from when it opened on the May long weekend to uh, Labor Day when it closed. Do you have to buy tickets? Yeah, I would get a season's pass, but you would just walk in when you wanted to go swimming mm -hmm. and you'd go for a swim. I usually swim a mile and get out and be on my way. Some days I'd linger right. at the pool. This past year, 
I couldn't get in because you have to book a window. Do you have to buy a ticket to go to Kids Pool? Now, yes. You have to pay for that? Yes. Shows you the. It's been a very long, long time since long I went to it? Kids Pool. I used to live right swimming. across the street <laughs> from Kids <laughs> Did you? Beach. But yeah, but that was like 7,000 years ago. So Back yeah, it's been a long days. time. But mm -hmm. I'd like to be able to access that. You know, our tax dollars pay for that. The, the Stanley Park train, T Taylor Swift is a different level but some artists as you pointed out very astutely off the top some artists have figured it out mm -hmm. how to stop the scalpers yeah. how to release the tickets in a way bruce springsteen is very good at yeah. that you know billy joel is very good at and that. others are you know making a bunch of coin by holding yeah. them back and then releasing you know preferred seats so anyway we feel your pain it's super frustrating and there has to be a way to change it with all the technology and all there the brilliant is. minds around the world there's just a lack of will we need it to happen mm -hmm. we really really do also yeah. we need you to stay tuned because we got some fun to have in this show because coming up we're gonna see explaining science through the eyes of dogs yes it's <laughs> learning that will make you howl see what oh, i did there <laughs> our, our, uh, still ahead though with less than a year until british columbians head to the polls the eb government is tackling the housing crisis and so much more the premier joins us next he does indeed. And we got to get to our viewing party photos because we are giving away a $150 gift card for White Spot restaurants. And in the mix, look it, that's Nogi, Kathy and Nogi. Thanks yeah, for watching. Chica Loca, nice little pussycat. And Fern and Shadow in South Surrey watching the show last week. Thank Everybody you. Everybody has a pet, it seems. We also have Fran and the fur babies. Everybody wants you to get a dog, Aww. Linda. And we want you to get in on the viewing party. Take a picture of you right now and send it to viewingparty at checkmedia.ca.